Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to be attempting the DME swap today. On the left is my original MSD80. It's the one that has the drivers that go bad in it, but this one works perfectly fine for right now. And on the right, we have the new one that I got off of eBay from a drunk to car. So this one has to be coded to my car for it to actually start the car. And it just plugs in exactly the same as the MSD80. And you can see the connectors on the back here should be identical. So it's the new one, and indeed, it's the same. So we're going to plug this into my car, and then use CGDI to code it. The new ECU is installed in the ECU box. You can see it plugged in over here. I have CGDI connected to the OBD2 port. I have it run through the open window to my laptop, and I also have the car on a battery charger. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the car on, and we're going to go into CGDI. Here, and then we're going to go to BMW ISN read write. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go to should be MSD80, which is the same thing, or MSV80. MSV80, MSD80, and MSD81 are all about the same ECU. So they all work the same way, and it should work just fine. So now we're gonna hit read DME ISN. It says it requires programming. Make sure it has enough voltage. I'm continuing. Yeah, drop it down so you can read it. It's uploading a file right now. Actually, it says download file. Quite a few minutes later, it looks like it's wrapping up now, so this is checking the flash. There's all kinds of warning lights still on in the dash. It's ABS, like that's like stability control. Read DME ISN success, and we have an ISN. So right here is the ISN for my DME. At this point, we're gonna to need to read the CAS ISN, which is no longer gonna match. It will match the ISN of my old DME and write the new one into the CAS. So we're gonna hit read CAS ISN. Should be faster. Maybe it's hailing, I don't know. It doesn't sound happy. Please pop up the key from ignition. I don't know what that means, we're gonna leave it in. Please put key in the CGDI programmer coil. Okay. All right, so I put the key into the CGDI programmer coil. Work key is being read. And when it says work key, it means your working key. At this point, we've got our CAS ISN, which does not match. At this point, I think we have to hit enter or write cast ISN. Don't know if I have to copy it. Maybe that's what I need to do. Write cast ISN. Please pop up the key from the ignition. So it looks like you have to copy and paste it in. It says success, read cast ISN, see if it flips or not. Well, in theory, at this point, if I very carefully bring my stuff inside, the car should start. All right, I've got input up and running, IMPA. These are the values I pulled off my old DME, and I did that on the bench, I didn't put it back on the car. If you're doing this at home, what you should be doing is doing that prior to pulling the ECU out. Maybe the smart way of doing it. So we're gonna go to F9, system diagnose. We're gonna go to Shift F4 for injector coding. And these are the values on my junkyard ECU. As you can probably tell, these don't match at all. So I gotta go through and update them. So this is 58.7, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 
2.16 and you'll see that's a different value than what's currently recorded just updated so if cylinder one is done I'm gonna go through do the other five and come back all right the junkyard EC is updated it's um, updated with the values that I pulled out of my old ECU. Oddly enough, some of these are off by a round off error, which is kind of interesting. I expect it to be the same between the two ECUs. And because I don't know what the injectors themselves say, I don't know which direction they're off in. Here's my key. Stick that in the ignition. Turn it on. See how many warning lights I have. Hopefully they go out. All right, service engine soon, not too worried about that. Car starts. So it worked. We'll call that success. And no cuts. I'm gonna walk over to the bench and I will show you. I have my old DME sitting over here. That's MSD 80. You can read it right on the label. All right, here is MHD. Read DME codes. First thing is it still says 2F49 EWS preventing manipulation. That one kind of worries me a little bit. The VIN here it's reading. Still the old one. All right, I just got back. I'm gonna read the codes. No active codes. So yeah, EWS manipulation's gone. Everything is perfect now. And this is on MSD 81 from a junkyard in my car. Everything's great.